Hello everybody. This time we talk about a Formula EO month, something that is going to be very useful in case you are in any manner connected to the field of finance, financial modeling, investment banking, accounting, taxation, and you'll soon find out why. Before discussing this formula, let me illustrate some of the questions. Question number one, at a hypothetical level, what if I want to find out end of the current month, the month to which the date pertains to? That was case number one. So for example, I wish to have 31st December 2012 here. So sorry, my mistake, 31st January 2012. Then I wish to have 30th September 2010. It's the end of the current month. Case number two. What if I tell you that these are the invoice dates and the tax related to this invoices must be submitted by 5th of the next month. So I wish to have the details 5 of FEB 2012. I wish to have 5th of March 2011 in this case and so on. That was case study 2. Case 3 where if I am given certain dates I wish to find out 1st of the current month. So in this case 1st of September 2014. Now all this can be achieved through the formula of EO month. So let me take case by case basis. First case, I want end of current month. So I write equal to EOM. I press the tab key. I choose the starting date and then it asks me how many months do you want to jump ahead before you find the end of the month. I say zero. Why zero? Because had I given one, it would have said for this particular date, 17th January to 17th February and then finding the end of that 17th February date. Right now, I want 31st Jan. Let me test with one. Enter. You get 29th of Feb. Why? 17th January, jump one month ahead and you get end of the month 29th Feb. Case 2. I want 5th of next month. So how do I achieve this? I write equal to EOM. I press the tab key. I choose the starting date and then I put 0. As expected, it's going to give me end of the current month. But wait, I'm just going to add plus 5 towards the formula end and that will give me what? Yes, 5th of next month. Notice any kind of calculation which involves 5th of next month, 7th of next month, 15th of next month, you can apply this formula. Case 3, where if you want to find out 1st of the current month, 1st of current month. So how do I put that formula in? Let me write equal to EOM, tab key. I choose the starting date. Now I give minus 1. What is minus 1 going to give me? Well, it's going to give me 31st of August 2014 in this case, which means it is jumping back one month saying from 23rd September to 23rd of August and then 23rd of August, it takes as a benchmark and then finds the end of that month. Now, this is not the answer. The final answer is when I simply add an additional one day towards the end of this formula, which means now 1st of September 2014. So notice how these combination can quickly change the scenario using simple formula EO month. Practice this and trust me, once in a while you will get to use this.